Hello students, welcome back to all. In this video, I would like to explain about how the ammonia will form and what is the structure of ammonia, what is the bond angle. So all the topics were covered very clearly in this video. Generally, the structure of ammonia can be explained with the help of hybridization. So, what is hybridization and uh, how many types of hybridizations will take place? So, all the topics were covered very clearly in my previous videos. If you watch, if you didn't watch that videos, please check it again. So, now, what is the structure of ammonia? Let us see. So, generally, we know that the nitrogen atomic number is 7 and its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, right? So, in the outermost shell, it contains 5 electrons, right? So, now, the 2s orbital and the 3p orbitals combines together and forms sp3 hybridization will take place. So, here, 1s orbital and 3p orbitals intermix and we get the total number of 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. So now here the total number of 5 electrons are there which means what happens here in that case there is a lone pair of electron is present in the 1 orbital and the remaining 3 orbitals containing 1 electron in each case. So let us draw the diagram. So this is nitrogen atom, so this is one sp3 hybrid orbital, this is sp3 hybrid orbital, third one, fourth one. So here the nitrogen atom containing four sp3 hybrid orbitals like this. So here in this case one orbital is containing lone pair of electron and the remaining three sp3 hybrid orbitals containing one electron in each case. So now when the nitrogen is overlapped by the three hydrogen orbitals so here there exist three sigma bonds between the three hydrogen atom so this is one hydrogen atom this is one hydrogen this is one hydrogen so here in this case because of the overlapping there exist three sigma bonds so here this is one sigma bond the second sigma bond the third sigma bond so what happening here because of the overlapping of the sp3 hybrid orbital of the nitrogen atom and s orbital of the hydrogen atom. So because of the overlapping of the three hydrogen atoms there exist three sigma bonds between nitrogen atom and hydrogen atom. But here one lone pair of electron is present in the nitrogen atom like this. So like this there exist three sigma bonds between the nitrogen and hydrogen. So this is the NH3. So here let us see what is the bond angle. So this is the structure of NH3. So here actually generally the sp3 hybrid orbitals containing tetrahedral structure. But here in this case this ammonia is containing only trigonal pyramidal structure. Why because here because of the presenting lone pair, because of presenting the lone pair of electron, the force of repulsion between the lone pair and bond pair is more when compared to the bond pair and bond pair. So because of this repulsion force, the bond angle is reduced to 107 degree from 109 degree 5 minutes. So because of presenting this lone pair of electrons, the repulsive force is more. 
so that is why the bond angle is distorted to 107 degree so that's why the structure is also changed so now what is the structure of ammonia means it is trigonal planar and what is the bond angle it is 107 degree so this is the structure of ammonia here how many uh, sigma bonds are there there are total number of three sigma bonds are there the three sigma bonds will present in between the sp3 hybrid orbital of nitrogen atom and s orbital of the hydrogen atom so this is the structure of ammonia so like this ammonia will form and how many lone pair of electrons present in the ammonia means there is only one lone pair of electron present in the nitrogen atom so this is today's class thank you